In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite match defense right now in Madden 22, how you can optimize this for the meta offense, which is the gun bunch, and how you can actually create some really effective pressure out of it in the nickel 335 odd formation. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on those notifications. We upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. We've been diving really deep into the defensive side of the ball this year, trying to learn the best way to play defense in this game. And I think we actually have something that's pretty special for you today. And I'm actually really, really excited to share this with you. So uh, we're gonna be in the nickel 335 odd out of the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook. Uh, I have a full ebook out on the 335 odd. I think it's probably, it's, it's by far the best pressure that you can get in the game. And it also comes with some really unique coverages that you can create out of the nickel 335 odd, especially with the latest patch and some of the things that have changed in this year's game. So if you're new to the channel, like I said, hit that subscribe button. If you wanna get the guide, there's a link in the description. You can get it for just 15 bucks. And let's dive into this match defense that we're gonna be using out of the nickel 335 odd. Now the play we're gonna be calling is the cover six. Um, this cover six is a match defense. It's actually cover two sink to one side of the field and cover four uh, palms or cover four quarters to the other side of the field. So um, we're gonna be playing cover four on the bunch side and cover two on the short side. We're going to show you why um, that is so good coming up in this video. So what we're going to do is this is kind of what we have. And we're going to tailor this match defense to be very effective. We're also going to get some really, really good pressure out of this. So what I like to do out of this defense is I like to uh, spread my D-line. I like to spread my linebackers. That's going to help me a lot with my pressure. And then I'm going to crash my defensive line down. So as you see here, this is kind of my, my, my base pressure concept, okay? And then what I like to do from there is I like to show blitz. Now, you don't have to show blitz if you don't like to press coverage at a match. I 100% understand. Um, but we're going to make this match actually play pretty well for us. So what we're going to do is on the back side, we're going to go ahead and we're going to man up the square receiver and we're going to man up the running back. This is going to help our pressure and it's going to help our overall coverage because we're going to essentially man lock those guys and make them play them in man coverage. So as you see there, that's kind of our first two key coverage adjustments out of this. And then the last coverage adjustment that we're going to make is we're gonna put that safety on the right side of the screen. We're gonna put him into a deep half zone. And the reason why I like to do that is because that's gonna make it so that we don't get bombed out of this gun bunch. We're gonna be able to have really consistent coverage across the board. And we're really gonna be able to take away any flood concept that they might wanna to run to the right side. Now, the last thing I like to do is spotlight that slot receiver. But what you're gonna see with this is this is a super, super uh, kind of a simple, simplified version of a cover four uh, quarters style of defense because the standard cover four quarters rules dictate that those two backside players are gonna be in man coverage anyway. So we're kind of just essentially heading them off. And what we're gonna, what we're gonna see here is, let's say I go to a, a, a streak uh, a corner and a flat to that right side. If I try to throw this corner route, which is really one of the better routes this year, not only do I not have time because the pressure from this formation is that good, but, I'll, but I'm not only not gonna have time to be able to throw this, but he's not actually gonna be open. Uh, he's really not gonna be open. Um, you're gonna see here, you don't have to base align this um, you can, but you don't have to. The one thing I would recommend is go ahead and back off your corners uh, just to be safe. It does certainly help a little bit. So you can still show blitz and back your corners off, as you can see right there. That's always helpful for me. But again, we're just going to man those guys up just like so. And then really, that's it. I like to deep half just to be safe. And I'm going to try to throw this corner route again. And it can be from any player in the bunch. It could be from the corner uh, or from the inside slot. It could be from the outside slot. It could be from anybody. And what you're going to see, even with the blocked running back, this blitz should still come in. And as you see, if we try to throw that corner route, it's not going to be open. I could throw the corner route to anyone. I could throw it to the tight end. I could throw it to the outside receiver, the inside. It doesn't matter. We're going to be really solid um, against corner routes. Okay. So then... Um, so then, let me show you this. We go ahead and back these guys off manually. Maybe, there we go. And then I'm gonna man these guys up. Okay, it's a lot faster to set up in game, I mean, my, in my opinion. 
Um, so now what we have to watch out for is something like this, a deep crosser from the left, from the right to the left. Well, the way that we're going to combat this is our user. This is what we're all about right here. We're going to take that crosser, and as you see, we're completely bagging the Gun Bunch meta. Verticals is definitely still the meta. The other one that I want to show in the last one is this double post concept. Okay, so just to kind of illustrate this, you're going to see here, I don't have double post in my playbook, but I have mesh post, which is very similar. We can create kind of the same idea. And let me show you what this does. Now, this is where I really like this coverage. Um, what you're going to notice is you're going to notice that this quarter flat is going to do a really, really good job against the flat route to the tight end. So all we have to watch out for is this crossing route. So we're coming here. We see that right there. We can go there and then we can work back to the post. And as you see, the entire double post meta is really put into jeopardy. Now, I also want to just quickly showcase what happens uh, whenever we block um, whenever we block a running back because I want you to see this pressure so this is another reason why I really like this concept because it's all in one little scheme and we can play decent run defense as well but if I block my running back you should see the pressure should still come instantly off that edge right that time it didn't come in completely clean part of that I think might be because we've been running the blitz a little bit back and back but normally that blitz is going to uh, pretty much almost always uh, will come pretty clean uh, at the quarterback. So it's all about this man coverage assignment. And then if you want to with your user, you can kind of stand it, like right here, kind of get down in, the, in their grill a little bit. And then you'll see here that if they block that running back, you're going to see just like that. There's the pressure and we've got great coverage and behind it. Now, the last thing I wanted to do is I want to showcase a little bit of a problem that the bunch can cause for this with a specific motion, and we're going to show you how to adjust to it. The motion is this. All they're going to do is they're going to run that same corner route concept, but what they're going to do is they're going to put circle on an out, they're going to motion them out, and they're going to put the tight end on a streak. Now, obviously, like we said before, you're going to get really good pressure, but if they have time in the pocket... Um, maybe they pick this up. You're going to see that that R1 receiver will get open because of the deep half is in a partially because of the deep half, partially because of the way match coverage works against gun bunch. So here's kind of the fix that I've been using for that. And I, I, I just hang with me because you can make these adjustments a little faster in game because you're only on one side of the ball. But I just want to show you essentially what we're going to do whenever they motion out of bunch. So everything on the left side is already going to be set up. So if you can imagine with me, this is kind of what we're going to see. All right. So here's our setup. Now they're in compression and we've set this play up and we're feeling really good. We're like, we've got the defense for them. Then they go to this motion. Here's your instant adjustments. You're going to put your safety on the right on the inside quarter and your outside corner on an outside third. Really important. Outside corner on an outside third. What you're going to see is if they try to throw that corner out, he's going to play it. As you can see, that is courtesy of the latest patch. We are now able to take care of that flooding concept even when they motion a player out. And none of the bunch bombs are going to work whenever they run that motion out uh, as a result of this formation. So I really like that about this. This is by far my favorite way to be defending right now. I really would encourage you, if you're not using match defense to start um, doing that, because match defense is so importantly and so uh, essential to being successful this year because zone does not work well. But match, it can cause some turnovers and some confusion as long as you know what you're doing. We go in depth in the defensive ebook about match coverage, how to use it. We actually just released a one hour uh, tutorial in our defensive encyclopedia uh, guide, which is where we break down how every coverage in Madden works. If you want more information about that, uh, just text me. My number's at the top left hand corner of the screen. But guys, I would encourage you if you've not gotten the 335 odd defensive guide yet, I would really encourage you to do that because. You're not only going to learn the ins and outs of this specific coverage, but you're going to learn the ins and outs of the entire scheme and against multiple different formations where you're going to be able to start getting more consistent stops in Madden 22. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to get the defensive guide, there's a link in the description. Just go on down to that link, click on it. It'll take you right to my website and we'll get you all squared away.